Hi everyone, here is the book chemist once again and today I'm going to talk about five writers who actually scare me and quite a lot. And when I say scare me, I don't mean that their books frighten me in the common sense, I'm not talking about horror authors who write frightful fiction, I'm saying that they, the idea of reading them really scare me. Perhaps these authors are famously challenging, perhaps they are famously disturbing, anyway I haven't yet mastered the courage to tackle their works, not all of them at least. So number five I'm going to break the horror rule and I'm going to talk about Stephen King, my main man. It's not his books in general that scare me, not really. What I'm talking about is a specific book, what is generally considered his masterpiece. Of course I'm talking about The Stand. Everybody keeps suggesting me The Stand. Friends of mine who are huge King fans tell me it's his most its best book, really. At the same time, I have always been kinda hesitant when it comes to that book, because number one, it's fucking endless. Number two, I'm not really into narratives about the end of the world, about great plagues. Maybe I was some years ago, not anymore, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, really. I think I'll read it sometime in the future, I'm not sure how soon. And of course, with this book and with all the other four books, tell me in the comments if I'm right in being scared or if I shouldn't be. Number four is John Barth, one of the most famous most important authors of American postmodernism, and we're talking about hardcore postmodernism, the real thing. I know how important Barth is for later authors, for instance, he is a crucial influence on one of my favorite authors, David Foster Wallace. At the same time, I have never tackled his fiction because one, he is not at all known in Italy and it's rather hard to find his books around the year, and two, he kinda scares me because it really looks like the author who is more interested in I don't know, linguistic games than in actual narratives and plots. At the same time I know that some of his books, for instance Giles Goat Boy or The Sotweed Factor, mix this postmodern interest in linguistics with a very entertaining and kinda thrilling popular plot, almost popular at least. And of course these books are also kinda massive and that only adds to my fear. If I am wrong in being scared of Barf, let me know where I should start with his fiction. Number three, the only non-American writer in this video is Marcel Proust. This last academic year I went to some conferences about, among other writers, Proust and this made me want to read the, um, uh, the research, uh, like uh, the search for the lost time, I guess it's the English title, very very much. I know how important and influential that is, I know it's a milestone of modernism. At the same time I remember how enthusiast I was when I started reading Ulysses and I remember how awesome that book is and how rewarding an experience it was, but I also remember how painful it was to read because of course it's fucking difficult. And from my external point of view, from the point of view of someone who knows very very little about Proust, mm, the, the research seems that difficult but much 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 longer. Should I be scared? Is it that challenging? Is it that impossible to read? Is it a rewarding experience? I hope it is, let me know. Number two is one of my mortal enemies, Vladimir Nabokov. I only read Lolita by Nabokov and I disliked that book really, really a lot. Uh, because of a number of reasons, because I didn't see the point in it, it looked like some kind of literary experiment more than an actual book, of course the book is kinda disturbing, but of course Nabokov is so influential and so important and everybody praises him so much. In particular I'd like to read Pale Fire because they keep telling me that it's really really influential for postmodern literature, which I'm interested a lot in. But of course, the, the experience of Lolita still lingers in my mind. So tell me, is Pale Fire better than Lolita? And when I say better, I mean, I don't know, more enjoyable, more interesting, more an actual book. I'm very curious to hear your thoughts, let me know. And finally, number one, the author that scares me the most is William Burroughs. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. William Burroughs theoretically speaking, is exactly the author for me, because he mixes science fiction and popular genre plots with postmodern experimentation, and that's exactly the kind of shit I like. At the same time, I know how bad shit crazy he was, and I know the disturbing stuff that usually fills his books. Some years ago I watched Dean Goranite's review of Naked Lunch, he is an awesome YouTuber, I'll put a link in the description box, and from then onward I have been really really discouraged about reading Burroughs. But again, he too is kinda super influential in postmodern literature and in contemporary literature in general. So what should I do? Should I read him and, I don't know, close my eyes during the war scenes? Let me know, let me know if he's enjoyable, let me know if he's just 
really crazy. That's pretty much it for this chart. Let me know what you think about these five nice people. If you took part in the contest which I organized last week about this video, by now you probably know if you have won the £15 voucher or not. Thanks as usual for watching. Let me know your opinions about all the stuff I've talked about in the comments. I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.